So I've got a sine, triangle, saw and square wave going into four channels on the Bubble Sound VCA4P. I'm coming out of the mix output on the VCA on this red cable into the SOB and then out of the SOB into an attenuator just to drop the level before going to my sound card. I'm using the VCA4P as a four way attenuator and mixer but also as it's a VCA I can add some modulation later. So here's a sine wave and I'm going to turn up the wave folder and level on the SOB to show how that responds. So turning down the sine wave and then turning up the triangle wave. Turning down the triangle wave and now turning up the saw wave. So there's not much effect on the saw wave. Turning down the saw wave now and turning up the square wave, which again won't have much effect. So now I'm going to mix these waveforms together. So rather than mixing before the SOB, I'm going to mix the two inputs on the SOB filter and show how we can clip those waves nicely going in direct. I'm going to start with a sine and triangle. take the triangle wave out and put that back in the VCA4P and then I'm going to put the saw wave into input 2 on the SOB. So taking the saw wave out now, putting that back in the bubble sound VCA4P and then putting the square wave in so we've got sine and square wave on the SOB's two inputs. All four waves are back into the VCA4P now and I'm adding some LFO modulation to each waveform. I've got the shaped sine wave from the Bubble Sound ULFO going into the VCA to CV the volume of the sine wave. I've got the sine wave from the same ULFO controlling the level of the saw wave and then I've got a different LFO going into the CV on the triangle VCA and then finally taking another LFO um, with a different rate going to the square VCA channel as well.
So as you can imagine, you can get a lot of control when you're mixing all the different inputs with different envelopes, LFOs and sequences to all the different CVs on the VCA and get some really dynamic shaping from the SOB. You could also start mixing two different oscillators at different rates into the SOB or two different full voices into the wave folder which will sort of scrunch everything up together as it folds back on itself. So that's it for this video, head to the description below to get the links for the full two part overview video of the SOB filter. If there's anything else you'd like to see or if you've got any questions feel free to comment below and subscribe for more videos coming soon.